John from Shine On here, and today we are going to talk about how you can use the Shine On app with our upsells in conjunction with the Cart Hook post purchase app in order to offer post purchase upsell products to your customers. So let's go ahead. I'm going to jump into the Shopify App Store and we're going to take a look at Cart Hook post purchase. So the app that we are talking about using today is Carthook Post Purchase Offers by Carthook. Uh, Carthook is the checkout system, uh, the one page checkout system that ShineOn.com and the platform currently use to make an expedited shipping. Now post purchase uh, is part of the entire checkout system. If you are to go purchase that app, which is about like $400 a month, guessing you're fine using Shopify checkout. In which case you can use just the post purchase part of that, which is this app here. It does come with a 14 day free trial. However, after that it is $50 a month. It does have a lot of cool features and if you're planning to really, really utilize this, it could be beneficial for you. Um, but let's go ahead, I'm gonna add this to my store and then we are gonna go ahead and jump right into getting it set up. All right, so I'm now inside of the Card Hook post purchase app. Um, and what you can see here is there's a funnels section. And what we do is we create a funnel. And it says that if you bought this, show you this. Uh, that's the basic idea of the funnel. So we're gonna go ahead and create a funnel here. And it says display criteria. Uh, and you can set it for a couple different ways. Uh, what I recommend is a cart contains any of the following products and then you can come here and you can type in your products and pull them up. Um, I'm going to stick with our test product here and hit select and we're going to leave it just like that and then I'm going to offer and we get to select products for this. And I have these cubic zirconia earrings that I'm going to offer. And then this is where you get to customize how this is actually going to display for your buyers. And so what you can see here is, you know, you can, you know, there's a quantity selector, there's different images, there's how to display things, um, no things, all of that. All of this can be customized over here. Um, so you can choose to set different pricing. You can say, no, I don't want you to display quantity. Um, shipping is going to be free shipping. Um, we can come back over here and then there's the offer design. So again, this is where you can change the timer. You can change the title. You can change all of this to really look exactly how you want. You can add new areas in, you can design out a really good image if you want. Um, you, you can build all this out to be how you would want it to be. Um, so once you have that all set up the way you want, we can just hit save on our funnel that we have just created. And what you will see is we have funnel two here. It is currently inactive. So we are going to make that funnel active. Now what I'm going to do now that I've made that funnel active, is I'm gonna make sure my other funnel is not active. Now, here's the thing with card hook post purchase. You can have multiple funnels and you can actually set these funnels up to be like stack ranked. So like if funnel one has more criteria, you say, if, well, if it meets funnel one, show funnel one. But uh, if it also meets funnel two, if it meets both, I want you to show funnel two over funnel one. So you can kind of, you know, create a more specific funnel and you can say, no, no, go do this one if it meets this area. But if it's not, we'll keep it in the general one. So there are ways to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn off funnel one um, just so that uh, I won't run into any issues with that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to jump over into my store. I'm going to add that cart to my product or add that product to my cart and I'm gonna to proceed to check out and then I will pull you guys back in to check out what everything looks like. All right, I have now placed an order for our trigger product and what we're gonna see is the actual upsell. So you can see here, it says you've paid for your order, that's awesome. But then we are given this beautiful little upsell here, which is exactly how I had it designed. 
and says, wait, there's an offer for you. Hey, you can add this to your cart right now for $16.05. I'm like, oh, obviously, I add this to my cart. And what's great is it's going to group this as one solid sale so that um, you can see here there's, there's two charges, one for your necklace and one for your earrings. Uh, but it all is going to come through on order 1015 right here, right? So it's all on one order, which is exactly what Shine On needs. So that worked absolutely perfect, and that's exactly how we want this cart hook upsell to work. So that is how you work with cart hook when it comes to offering post purchase upsells on the Shine On app. Now remember, some of the main things you always need to do when doing upsells is actually publishing the upsell products into your uh, out, out of the Shine On app. Once they've been published, then we're able to use them in these post-purchase flows and funnels. So don't forget that. Otherwise, Card Hook is a great app. It works great. Uh, there is the $50 a month charge that goes to it. But again, if you're making good sales, it should not be an issue. And you can also use this app with other products if you want to on your store. But thanks for joining and happy selling.